Hello. Today, oh, I have so much for you today. We're going to do two videos in like a couple different parts. Um, however, I'm going to grab you. Look at the pretty paintings. Look, aren't they pretty? Anyway, <laughs> and I'm going to take you over to my stove and show you what I'm going to work on first. So hold on. I'll be right back. This is what we're working on first. We're going to use, in, um, I keep trying to say Envirotex, we're going to use Locklite Epoxy Heavy Duty. This is my niece's, let me see if I can steady the camera, there we go. This is my niece's um, life casting that we're going to be attaching because it is, sorry, I'm moving the boxes out of the way. It is not attached right now. So there's the base, let me set down the foot. There's the foot. We're going to attach the foot to the base and then we're going to go outside and do a satin finish on it. And so that is coming up in a little bit. Here's what we're working on today. I'm going to get a little closer. Look at that. I absolutely love this life casting. I love the fingernail polish on the live casting as well. And I'm not sure if it'll focus if I get really, really close. But you can tell it's not a patina. Is it a patina? Sorry, I'm talking to my husband off, off screen. The patina got on the fingernail polish. And it looks like little speckles. Speckles or something. Yeah, it looks like little speckles. Anyway, so that's our first project. Let's get to it. Hello, we're back again. Okay, like I said earlier, we're using the Loctite Heavy Duty Epoxy to epoxy the foot to the base. And we're gonna, I'm gonna take my ring off. I don't wear jewelry when I'm using epoxy. Um, even though I wear gloves, I, I guess it's because I'm, I love that sound. It's so creepy. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I don't wear jewelry even though I wear my gloves because I'm one of those weird people that on the off chance that there's a hole in the glove, I really do not want to get epoxied to my jewelry. That just does not sound appealing at all to me. Okay, got my little stir stick. Got my epoxy. Um, what I'm gonna do is probably squirt out, well, that's probably the size of a quarter. That's probably a little much, but meh. Not a big deal. And that was part A. Actually, that was the resin. This is part B, which is the hardener. Stop coming out! <laughs> Crack myself up. And then, I don't know if you guys can see me doing this. I think that it's going to get the whole shot. Yeah. Kind of scoop from both sides. And then I do a lot of mixing. If I look above the camera and you're just like what is she looking at my husband is is trying to be my cameraman and make sure I don't miss anything on this because this is a really important sculpture this is really a lot of epoxy <laughs> but you know okay so then I kind of wipe it off just to make sure now what, do I need to pause or? Okay, pause. Sorry for that brief time out. <laughs> okay, so again, look how pretty. So, make sure I have a good hold on this because it would absolutely just kill me if I messed this thing up. All right, so we're gonna put a, bo a bob, a bob, we're gonna put a bob on the heel. That sounds like, I don't know, not right. And then I'm just gonna kinda, oh, I can see where the hole is. 
that's probably good. Set that aside just in case I need it. Petrified. I'm so petrified right now. Can you come double check this for me? I think that it's where it needs to be. Um, I don't want to take any chances with this one. I was a little, a little off. Mm. We've got it balancing on a couple plates. And we're good. All right. So we're going to pause the video so that we can let this dry for about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, and then we'll come back and be ready for the satin finish. We'll catch you in a few minutes. And we're, we're back. Here's the beautiful foot and the beautiful hands. Look at it. Look at it. I'm going to switch my view to the side over here so that we can watch the hubby is going to do a satin finish on it. And the wind is not blowing at me. There's not a lot of wind, so. This is going to be like a beautiful finish. Put a garbage bag down over the glass top table. Even though the glass top table is a little dirty, it's okay. We're going to come over here. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to get any of the satin finish on me. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to get out of his way. So again, this is my niece. One of my nieces. This is her foot and her hands. And it's sitting on top of a box of that's called gypsona. It's kind of like, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's kind of, kind of, it is, they're like bandages and we use it to wrap around the outside of a mold so that it kind of, we have a like a hard strong surface on the outside of it so this is just another one of the products that we use getting a little you know showcase i'd say right up in here is what it looks like might need something there we go one of these days i was debating highly on taking you guys on a different type of ride along um, I really wanted to take you to the place where we get our casting materials from. I just have not had a chance to actually talk to them about it. I'm sure that they wouldn't mind the exposure. Uh, however, I haven't talked to them yet, so we'll be going in the next couple of days for an upcoming casting. I'm going to walk around my husband. Hello, black shirt. Ta -da. Anyway, we're going to be coming, we're going to be going there for an upcoming casting. And so I'll have to remember to talk to the manager because I think that would be an amazing ride along video. At least I think so. And yeah. All right. One last. Look at the shine on that. Sorry if the video is a little shaky can hear all the beautiful birds chirping in the background look at those hands that right there i don't know i may use that as my thumbnail beautiful here we go that's the second part of this video and we will add some more to it later until then we'll see you in a little bit